Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we are looking at a series of features available on the Live Cloud website. A really nice website that is free to use. You don't have to register or anything to get most of those features and it's very easy to set up. So the link to the website is in the description but you can search for Live Cloud online and find it. We're going to look at the Word Cloud. Now Word Cloud is a whole bunch of words that are displayed in some sort of cloud format where the most commonly entered word will be the biggest and the least commonly entered word will be the smallest it's very nice to get opinions of people or how they're feeling about something it's nice to get a representation of that or get a, a view or vote on particular topics so we're going to look at the live word cloud that we're going to do so we can do a text cloud or a picture cloud or a combo cloud where they can submit pictures i'm going to do the text one because that's the most commonly used one so let's use that so here we go. So there is the code for the students to be able to join. So they will then go to this website and they can connect to on their devices if they've got phones or, or tablets, or they can just go to the Live Cloud website and type in that code, or you can just display the QR code and they can get it from there as well. So if you need to get it back up, you can click over there on the interaction code. I've got an example of what it would look like. So the interaction code is NHQK and this is Mr. Long. I'm going to click on join. It'll ask me to type. We're going to type our words in here. You'll notice on the original website over here, you see we've got one participant. So I'm going to add a couple more participants quickly. So as you can see, I've got uh, my students, my participants are there and we can see all their details. Once they've put in their values, we can actually download them to a CSV or PDF file if we wanted to. But some of the settings that we're going to set before we get into it, so we can export the submissions to a whiteboard if we want to. We've done a video on whiteboards. But the settings over here, we can say how many times they can enter in a word. So maybe you want to make it unlimited. They can enter as many words as they want or you only want to limit it to one or whatever. I want to make it 10, for example. And so we can now it's basically started so we can start entering words so if i come over here and the question is we can add a little question here it's like how do you feel today and ask students to type it in what they feel so we can say i'm feeling happy and send it in now that word will be added to the cloud now if i add another word i'm confused that would be another word and we can keep adding words. Let's say I add happy again. I don't know why I would do it twice. You'll see happy is now bigger than the word confused. So I'm going to go and add a couple of words from the different devices. So there we go. There's our word cloud. I've had the students add a couple of words randomly. As you can see, the word happy is the biggest word with great being second biggest. So you can see how the different words are according to their size depends on how many times that word was entered. So the most commonly entered word will be the biggest where the least commonly will be the smaller ones. So you can play around with that and you can go over here and you can see all the different uh, inputs that they did and what their last one was. So you can get a little PDF of those results and so on. If you want to get rid of a participant, you can just click on that little button there to get rid of them maybe someone doesn't want to join the class you want to get rid of them you can do that as well so this is create a nice little word cloud now unfortunately you can't save this word cloud if you want to you would have to get the other options available with regard to their pricing but still it's a very useful tool that you could use in the classroom to get a feel of what the students are feeling or what their opinions are in a nice little visual way and so that is a word cloud Make sure to click on that subscribe button and share us with your friends so we can help them as well. Leave a comment about topics you want us to cover next. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.